Okay, problem three of the free response section of the 20, 2016 AP Calc AB. No, no calculator allowed. Now this one tended to be the hardest one for most students. Um, so I'm gonna go through it slowly and try my best to explain it. But um, just skip ahead if you find I'm going too slow, you know, that's why we got a video. But here we go. So we have the function f um, defined on this interval from negative five to c and f of c is zero. In the graph of f, we have three line segments. One, two, three, a quarter of a circle, but center negative three, zero. So this is our quarter circle. And, and well, yeah, it has radius, radius of two. And we have to first find the average rate of change of f over the interval negative five to zero. Okay, so average rate of change. Don't overthink this first part because it's as simple as calculating slope back as when you did in like elementary school or preschool or middle school. You know, change in y over change in x. Um, we're going from negative five to zero or negative five to zero. So um, remember the function is f. So the y's are f of negative five or we can maybe go f of zero because we usually go a, b, f of zero minus f of negative five over zero minus negative five. And we'll get f of zero is two, f of negative five is zero. So two minus zero over five. And so the answer is two fifths. So that's all for that part. Scoot my chair down, adjust that. All right, um, part B, for negative five to C, let G be the function defined by G of X, this integral then, G of X is this integral from negative one to X of F of T dt. Find the F coordinate, or find the X coordinate of each point of inflection of the graph of G. Okay, cool. So this one isn't like an, uh, this an abstract one, but remember, when we're trying to figure out inflection points, you have to study the second derivative. So we wanna get the second derivative of G. Well, the first derivative, we, well, we need to get the first derivative. And remember, when you take the derivative or differentiate an integral, they basically undo each other. So then it's gonna um, cancel off that integral and you, you'll just have f of x. And this is the fundamental theorem of calculus part two. So then now we just take the derivative again. G, second derivative, g double prime of x is just f prime of x. Ooh. And remember when we're trying to find the inflection points, we wanna see where the second derivative is zero. And then we wanna see then if it changes from positive to negative or negative to positive. So we have to see when f prime of x is zero. So g double prime of x equals zero or f prime of x equals zero. And so we look at the graph. We look for like potential tangent lines or, or I mean, hor like a, a potential horizontal tangent lines or like just weird points, cusps, like cusps, like um, peaks, undefined, undefined derivatives, things that look weird. So we would now, so we want to study this point over here when X is zero and we want to study negative three So, um, so f of, let me just put it up here. F of, yeah. Yeah, go away. sorry about that. X equals negative three, X equals zero. And then let's, let's go back to understand what's, what, the, what, the, what we want to exactly look at. So, 
Remember, we want to see when it changes its sign and it goes from positive to negative or negative to positive. And remember, we're looking at the graph of F. We don't have F prime. So we want to look like if it's decreasing, which is de it's decreasing before this point, and then it's increasing after. So yeah, we have an inflection point here. Right? It's going down and it's going up here. And then over here, it, it's going up, it's increasing, then it's decreasing. So we have inflection points at both x equals negative three and x equals zero. I'm just gonna strip, so I say, save you guys a minute or so. Here's my explanation for negative three and zero. Just write something that shows you know that, that, you, have to, you, have to, that you have to identify where it changes its sign. Okay, now let's go to part C. Find the value of C for which the average value of F over the interval negative five to C is one half. <laughs> this is a good one. So remember the average value equation that is gonna be equal to the one over B minus, this is the general equation you'll probably learn in, in your in right after like the fundamental theorem calculus. Something like this, one over B minus A times the integral from A to B of F of X dx. So just to refresh your memories. So, so here we're going from negative five to C. So the average value is, we're going to set one half equal to one, the one over C minus negative five. Times integral from C, from C negative five. And then this is, yeah, sorry. I can, this probably was confusing you and it can confuse me for a second. The A goes in the bottom endpoint and that B. Okay, there we go. And then now in here we have our function, which is we're told it's f of x. And so then we have to integrate this. Okay. So we have one half equal to one over c plus five times the integral from negative five to zero, negative five to C. And we have to basically just add the geometrical areas of this quarter circle, which is gonna be negative one fourth pi R squared and R squared is two. So this is the quarter circle. Then we got this triangle here. This triangle it has an area of negative one. This is one by negative two times one half, so negative one. And we got this positive triangle over here, two by two by one, or two by two and a half. So then we have an area of two. Then we got this triangle at the end going to C. Now this is where students get confused, but don't overthink this. The height is two. So we're gonna have two times the width and the width is just, or the base, base is just going to C. So two C and you know, time is one half because we have a triangle, which ends up, ends up just being C. So we combine these together. Negative one fourth times pi times two squared. Less negative one. 
less a two, less um, a one half to a C, right? Yeah, just a C. Let's see. I'll write it over here, even though you're not supposed to, so don't do that on your test. Let's see. Going to the next row, we get one half equals one over C plus five. All this will add up to pi, those will cancel, or I mean negative pi. Negative pi plus one plus C. And then we just solve this. Let's multi cross multiply. We'll get C plus five over two equals negative pi plus one plus C. Multiply those by two, C plus five equals negative two pi plus two plus two C. Take away C and add this to the right, subtract that three plus two pi. It's gonna equal C. And there you go. All right, one more part. Part D, assume that C is bigger than three and the function H is defined by H of X equaling F of X over two. Find H prime of six in terms of C. Okay, so let's first define H prime of X. So h prime of x will be the derivative of this inside, one half, times the, the derivative of the outside, times f prime of x over 2. OK, now for 6, if we're taking h prime of 6, h prime of six will equal one half times f times f prime of six over two, so times f prime of three. And looking at, let's go to our graph. Okay, so here, remember our graph over here. F prime of three. So remember what F prime is. F prime is just the derivative. So we wanna just know the derivative of this line or just the slope. The derivative F prime of C is just gonna be negative two over C. It's just the slope, we go down two and over C. Let me just plug that in. This will be equal to one half times negative two over C. Twos cancel, and we get negative one over C as our final answer. Let me write that a little clear. And there you go, there's your answer. Yeah, so this one's kind of tough. It's weird, abstract, but it's fun. Um, so, just, so again, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section, just ask. Um, and I'll try to get back to you. And any feedback is appreciated. Um, let me know if I went too fast or didn't explain something clearly. And you know, if you appreciate this, you know, give me a like and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next free response video.